Hi everyone, today I'm going to be making stuffing meatloaf. This is a little bit different than most meatloafs that I make, but I was invited to participate in Meatloaf Wars held by Lala's Farms on YouTube. If you want to participate as well, I'll go ahead and put the link below, or you can go ahead in the search window and type in hashtag Meatloaf Wars. So for this recipe, I'm going to need one package of stovetop stuffing, any flavor, one cup hot water, two packages of brown gravy mix, one for the inside and then one to um, put on the top. But I always do one dry brown gravy mix for the inside and then to put it on the top, I use a jar of brown gravy. One and a half pounds of ground beef. So I'll be using one full one and a half of one of these and these are 93% lean. One cup cold water and two large eggs beaten. So let's begin. The first thing you need to do is preheat the oven to 350. Next, you want to take a bundt pan and some cooking spray and spray the bundt pan. Make sure that you also get the stem so it won't stick anywhere. And set that aside. Dump your stuffing in a medium sized bowl and add one cup hot water and let it sit for five minutes. You want to take your one packet of brown gravy mix, dump into another bowl and add one cup cold water and mix that up. Make sure that your hands are clean. Go ahead and add the one and a half pounds of hamburger. The two eggs. And I forgot to go ahead and slightly beat my eggs, so I'll go ahead and slightly beat them now. And then with clean hands, go ahead and just mix the hamburger with the gravy and the eggs and add the stuffing mix after it sat for five minutes. and then go ahead and mix it all together as well. And then go ahead and put your meat mixture in your bundt pan and press down. Put your bundt pan in the 350 degree oven for 45 to 55 minutes until the meat is no longer pink. So it's fresh out of the oven we're going to go ahead and let it rest for five minutes and then we'll invert it onto a plate. And just like 
I, what I do with all of my breads and stuff, I go along and kind of break it up along the sides so it's easier to get out of the pan. All right, there you have it. We inverted it onto the plate. It stuck a little bit, so it broke up a little bit. But then we went ahead and put our mashed potatoes and gravy in the center of the ring of meatloaf. So we'll go ahead and give it a taste test. All right, so here is the stuffing meatloaf and the mashed potatoes and gravy that was in the center. What is this? Stuffing meatloaf. Stuffing meatloaf. Okay. Got stuffing and brown gravy in, inside. I like it. That's very good. It's really good. I can actually kind of taste the stuffing in there. It's got a, a, a nice um, soft texture to it. I don't see the stuffing, but I can taste it. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.